What's up YouTube, Jordan here, and welcome back to another fake Pokemon booster pack opening, guys. You guys wanted me to do more of these, so that's exactly what I'm going to provide. Today we have five Ancient Origins fake booster packs, and right off the bat, you could already tell that they're really obviously fake because they don't even have the right pack arts. Check it out, apparently, uh, Shiny Mega Gyarados, he's in Ancient Origins now, and so is Luxray Break, so is Mega Mewtwo Y, so is Greninja Break, I mean... Those were the original pack arts for Ancient Origins and Maroroit. But yeah, guys, we also have this uh, Tyranitar pack, which is actually the only correct pack art. Uh, so yeah, pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, a lot of you guys, like I said, want me to continue to do these, so I'm, I'm going to do it. It's just a lot of fun to do fake Pokemon card openings, so yeah, I'm going to bring more to the channel. I have a fake Pokemon booster box coming in, so there's that. But yeah, there's five different pack arts, which also indicates that it's really obviously fake, too, because... As we know, this is not possible until the English release of Sun and Moon, which is coming up really soon, guys. I'm way too excited. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be going to two pre-releases and recording that, of course. Uh, but yeah, let's get these packs opened. We're going to start here with the Greninja Break Pack. Uh, Professor K would not be happy to see that this thing is not on the right pack art. That's okay. Let's get these packs Cracked open, see what randomness we get out of here. I might have actually opened these fake Ancient Origins packs before, so I'm not sure if we're going to get anything too new, but let's find out. Anyways, we got a Breloom, the crazy hollow foil pattern there. You're right. And it evolves from uh, Sawaddle, apparently. Okay. Even though it says the proper thing here, evolves from Shroomish. All right, all right. We got a Staryu. Another one of these holographics. Hopefully they're all like that, because I actually really enjoy these. Oh, yes, they are. We got Mad Cargo. Awesome. We got a Horsey. Ooh, we got a Blaziken. It's actually pretty cool looking. Not even going to lie. So that's our first rare of this pack. Maybe we can get more. We got a Sfeel. Looking happy as ever. Got an Acro Bike. We've got Trapinch. Aegis Slash, we did get more than one rare, although they have it as an uncommon for some reason. Okay, so they didn't get the rarities right. Interesting. And we got a Whizcash. Cool Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, so we got two things that are at least supposed to be rare out of that pack. Let's move on to the Tyranitar pack. Now, if I do remember, I actually don't think these come with any Ultra Rares, so that's kind of lame, because I want some Ultra Rares. But I know that the booster box that I ordered... It is going to come with some fake Ultra Rare cards, so that'll make for a more exciting video for sure. Anyways, we got a Rough Seas, which if it was real, it's actually a really good card. Um, I see some... Oh, what the heck? We got some Plasma Fake cards in here. Oh my god, now we're going way back to black and white somehow. Got a Lotad with the uh, blue border as well. What in the hell? We got Manetric, that's also supposed to be a rare, but it's an uncommon here. Got Energy Retrieval, Escape Rope, a Lantern. Alright, pretty cool. Let's move on to Gyarados. I want to get another card that has the wrong evolution. I definitely want to do that. Hopefully I can pull something like that. Let's see. We got a Rhydon, which does evolve from Rhyhorn. Except the uh, art looks a little off on the Rhyhorn, to be quite honest. Got our focus back here. There we go. We've got a Clamperl, Bufalant with the Fro. You already know, though. Celio, Lotad again, Grovile again, Masquerain. Damn, these cards are boring, man. Nine Tails, Lumbre. Wait, hold up, hold up. Okay, so we got Lotad and Lumbre. Just need Ludicolo now. Thought we got the whole Evo line for a second, but we didn't. Anyways, let's move on to the Luxray Break Pack. These are the most boring fake packs ever. It's like nothing exciting going on. We got a Nidorina. We've got Groudon, which is supposed to be a rare. And they got that right, except look, the star is like way off. It's like really, really not where it's supposed to be. Got an Electric, Vulpix, Nidoran female, Rough Seas again, Lantern again, Escape Rope, Energy Retrieval, and a Manaphy. So two rares again, and they have this one as a common. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, guys, wow, these, these fake packs suck, man. I'm actually highly disappointed in these. There's nothing cool in here. I'm never getting the, uh, these from the dollar store again. They're wasting my time. Even for fake packs, these are not even good. We got a Seedra, Kakuna, Steel, Dive Ball. Oh, baby, we got a fake Phoebus. Bruh. I got to send this to Jeff. This this must be sent to Jeff. 
We just pulled the fake Phoebus, ladies and gentlemen. And we got a fake Mr. Mime. Let's send this to Pokemon Excavation. Uh, we got the Blade, and we got Chinchou and Marshchomp. So these were incredibly boring. I actually think the best pull out of all was the fake Phoebus, for sure. It's got to be the, the fake fish. I got the real one somewhere near me. Nah, I'm not going to go get it. It's over there. But yeah, guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that video. I know it was a little bit dull. Uh, not really much going on with this fake pack opening. I was hoping for some more excitement. But uh, we did get the fish. We got the fish. So that's all that matters. Uh, stay tuned for more videos, guys. Sorry if this stuff seems like it's a little bit more of uh, filler content until sun and moon. I was really hoping this would be more exciting, like I said. Uh, but yeah, definitely leave a thumbs up regardless. It's a big help to the channel. Love y'all. Peace.